Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching At Armour TV. Today, we're going to get past the great landscapes, past the great reportage pictures, and concentrate on subjects that can be found in every town, every city in the world. Now, photography is often thought of to fall into two categories. The beautiful, great landscapes, and the in-your-face depiction of reality, photo reportage. But what's often overlooked are these small other subjects, the quiet photography. In short, what we're looking at is the banal and the mundane. Great fodder for the observant photographer. The special thing about photographing the banal is there are no rules. The success or failure of an image is wholly dependent on the photographer's eye and imagination. It's a very subjective approach to picture taking, one that will have photographers arguing amongst themselves forever. The crux of the matter is when is an image banal in an ironic way and when is an image simply cliché. I'll leave the figuring out of that to smarter people than me. The thing I love most about shooting banal or mundane pictures is the challenge it presents. Unlike landscape pictures where most of the lumps are already there, now before anybody gets bent out of shape, I did say mostly, the success or failure of a good mundane or banal shot necessitates a bit of detective work. You need to find the clues to the picture. It's a little bit like peeling back the layers of an onion where every layer is a different picture. But it's with that detective work where the fun and enjoyment lie. Now you might ask, why bother? Well, the simple answer is, by focusing your mind on finding these photographic nuggets, your photography as a whole will improve. It's exercise in photographic lateral thinking. By making something as mundane as the inside of a fridge or a garden chair look interesting, just think how that can help you with your vision when faced with your next big landscape. Photographing the banal or the mundane is important to photographers because it helps explore the truth around us. It's all those subjects we miss while stuck on a bus or sitting in a traffic jam. The big over-the-top images, and yes, I'm as guilty as anybody for shooting those, are a little bit like the pretty girl with a red lipstick or the overly manicured man in a bespoke suit. Good to look at, but ultimately a little bit vacuous. Photographing the mundane then is an attempt to strip away the layers of our modern world and expose what really lies beneath, the truth of our societies. But it's not all navel-gazing in Friedrich Nietzsche. It can simply be fun, a way of looking at the world that you might not be used to. As for the technical side, well, as long as you're comfortable with your camera settings, ISO, aperture, shutter speeds, etc., then there is no technical side. It all comes down to your vision, your composition, your use of light. The only point that I would make is, personally, I find that the shorter prime lenses work better for this kind of work. The final point I want to make is to experiment. Experiment with camera angles, shutter speeds, apertures, focal lengths. Really think about how you want your final picture to look. Think about the social as well as the artistic perspective. After all, this is your voice, so shout it loud. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug McKinley for Adama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adama TV for more great videos. We want to know what you think, so like, comment, or share this video. And please stop by the Adama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.